Joker. Ooh. That's a lot worse. As we, as we all know, there's a... Oh, no, it's a Palu versus Joker. Wait, am I in Tri-State? What's happening? Am I in another happening? region? It's, this is two what's, top tiers. What's happening? <laughs> I'm watching two top tiers and a shockwave. Which one of these two is big? <laughs> Neither of them. <laughs> well, Palu's tall. Palu's yes. tall. You Joker's... Can, uh, Joker, Joker, slim thick. I, <laughs> why, why his weight so large? That's true. He is, he is about the size of a, like a, like a hockey stick. Yeah, and yet. Get it, guys? Because he's Japanese. <laughs> Good. Good one. That's great. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, right, well, I don't even have enough energy to properly berate the joke. No. It's... it's just that thing. We do have Atomic Rock and the Joker. This is the first that we've seen of the Joker all... The first time I've seen of the Joker all night. Yeah. I wouldn't but doubt if well he's practiced. played it at least before, but that, the Joker just seems to get better every week. It does. I, I have become a big fan of the Atomic Joker. Mm. I mean, it's such a good compliment to the Rob, too, because there are a lot of matchups that he can really struggle with where he doesn't get to, like, you know, set up his mid-range zone and just kind of wait for your landings, and this gets him some crazy opportunities to really aggressive. I feel like we're, we're at a point where both of these characters feel like Atomic. Yeah. I don't I don't see this and go, oh, interesting anymore. I'm like, nice. I'm like, okay, he's in this mood today. Yeah. You know? Kind of like how it took us a while to be like, okay, the buzz does really have a Rosa. Yeah. Or like, the buzz does have a mid. Or the buzz does. The buzz has done that a lot. The buzz has done that a lot. <laughs> he swapped around. Tweak as well. Yeah. Like, oh, I guess the wolf still is here. <laughs> Against Pac Man specifically. Against Pac Man, except one kiss away. Oops, on Pac Man. Yeah. He do, he do, he do doing work. Well, no, that's a different game. That is a different game. Yeah. Okay, no doubt the Rex! I'm not gonna shout it because the door is open. Come on, man. That will kill. That will kill. Absolutely. Yeah. But also, like, down throw. Yeah. Do, 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 do it. Do it. Just take a, take a risk. It's not even a risk. That, no, it's not a risk. It's just a, a chance. thing to do. Take a chance on me. Oh, he, the moment that he saw Atomic roll to the ledge, Oryx was like, he's grabbing it. I, I know what's coming. Okay, little juggle, but. Committing to an up air right there, which could lead to a lot of reward. I feel like I see a lot of nares in that situation. Oh, great timing on the jump there to get that phantom footstool. Uh huh. Now we've got Arsene late, late in Oryx stock. And if we keep this ledge trap going for a bit, which we don't, um, but if we did, that could have been huge. Still very big that we're going to have to waste some of the, uh, some of the Arsene on this invincibility. But Oryx dropping off the angel platform immediately. Rookie play. Could have waited. waited. Now, the longer you wait, the less invincibility you have, so sometimes you just want to use that position. But I know what's going to happen. You're going to drop off the ledge, and you're going to throw out an aerial as how you control the air, and then you've lost your invincibility. But it's worked out fine for Oryx. The game is even. I'll happily take 60% to get rid of our sound. Mm. No, but that's fine, and you got that damage over time. This will be back for, yeah. I've seen Atomic is also... Uh, very happy to go for ledge traps. I'm misspacing that Nair, though. Oryx just gets to utilize that huge grab, and the gun was so nice. I'm kind of just still shocked that, like, Atomic got five pummels on Oryx, four or five <laughs> pummels on Oryx, and still got the throw. Not mashing. Please down throw. Down throw yes. once for me. For the people oh. who want to see you win and didn't react to the roll either. No, he didn't believe that it would happen. He moved, he nudged. And then Atomic still gave him the roll. I, I think what we're seeing is a disturbing lack of faith from Oryx. Oh. Again, you can't argue with results when they right, keep coming. And... Ooh, nice. answer right back. Just like you mentioned, dropping the angel platform, in comes my aerial. You got to deal with it. I'm throwing one out whether you like it or not. The, mm -hmm. the classic is I drop off the angel platform and hit you with a back air and you die in the you game. Die. Yeah. I feel like that happens at every level. It happens at every single level. Oh, so close to Arson. 42%'s nothing. But Atomic's definitely gonna want a little bit extra damage before it comes through. And he is he is pressing buttons. Oh, and he's taking damage all the way no! up. No! Here that's too late. Mm -hmm. A little below the ledge, not enough privilege to make it back to the stage.
And that's Oryx taking the first game. In one that, I mean, you know, with Arsene active, anybody's guess as to what happens, but... Did have a hefty lead, but it wasn't, it wasn't an insurmountable lead. Mm -mm. We've seen Atomic win those before, for sure. We ha and we've seen Oryx lose those tonight. Yep. And uh, now you've taken Palutena to Town & City, which I think is uh, an error. Well, I would agree with you if Oryx ever down threw. <laughs> But also, he only kills oh. with back air and back throw. He so. down through. He down through. See, he, he's learning. He was saving it for Town and he was City this whole time. For, <laughs> he was saving it for Atomic to counterpick him to Town, and now he's going to win the tournament by down throwing everybody. <laughs> you fool. You're taking me to Town and City. Now die at 80%. Oh, wait, you lived. Because my back air is so stale. It's so stale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I almost feel like that exact situation is going to happen. I feel like we've been subtweeting Oryx this whole time. I love Oryx. I've been adding him. He's an amazing... Yeah, you're right. I've been saying, been please do the good, yeah. the good things. He's so... Like, again, you can't say he's a bad player when his he's fundies are so good. I just... out of his mind. S-tier fundies. Just please down for him. Yeah, I would love to see it. Oh! oh. Atomic. Beautiful. You know, Town City worked for him. Yeah, Can't I love that results because Oryx clearly there is looking for the back air. You know, we're looking for like the drag down forward air set. And Atomic says, "No, this is a timing mix-up." And then who's ready for the double hit of the forward tilt up? Duh. So I feel like I guess that down throw was maybe to try to catch like a, a gun dash on stage or just like a neutral get up, but uh, uncharacteristic big commitment from Oryx. I'd like to see it though because I feel like that is more akin to when we see like the Peach just up smash to cover roll. Yeah. I like it feels like Oryx is more comfy when he's doing stuff like that. I love yeah. to see that. He's taking risks. I love that. Okay, there's the Palad Classic, but man, Atomic just the patience at the ledge to wait for Oryx to get antsy, which I would never bet on happening. Mm -hmm. And taking advantage of it. And also he's making use of second Arsene on this first stock, by the way. Right, and also not being too oh, uh, too antsy to get use out of the Arsene. Mm -hmm. He's just playing Nooch, and if he hap- Oh, no. That was... That was the level 9 CPU combo. <laughs> I've seen that one before. Really? Yeah. That's no, insane. Legitimately, level 9 jokers do that all the time. <laughs> They'll, like, throw you and then just go for up B because they're trying to go for the, the claw. Hook. Yeah. That's so funny. It was very funny. Learn to adapt, buddy, boy, huh? <laughs> Should have adapted. Robot. And they said robots are so powerful. How's this for AI programming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Dally who? <laughs> We're seeing Oryx down throw. And it's working, but. Well, I mean, everyone's DIing out and he's getting nothing off of it, but I like to see it. But it's okay, but it's not hurting. So no, it's therefore, not hurting. I think it's working. I think it's working. Oh, but. That's hurting. Too too committal on that juggle, and Atomic just fast fell to get right under him. Honestly, Atomic anime pro tagged his way through it because the Arsene ended just in time for him to get the cutscene. Yeah. Return. Oh, oh I love that mix up. Man, the fact that Joker gets that much air drift off a of down gun. It's so nuts. Crazy. Slight delay on the recovery, so it gets singed. I like this, that Atomic did like a couple of really deep aerial approaches, so Oryx does snuff out that one with a back throw. Mm, but, tilt so deep into the shield. Yeah, but there was a good mix up there where he did a couple of like pretty long floaty aerial approaches and then immediately went to the ground again. And there we see it again. That long full hop, no fastball, and it just dashed out. Mm. Ooh, and then this big opportunity for Atomic where, I mean, if you get the power to like 80% before you get that Arsene, I mean, you're looking at range to long, you didn't do that. But you're still looking at range now where uh, combo into something the back air, like down throw forward air at the ledge, honestly, I would not be surprised if that killed. The guns are put on so oh! much damage by themselves. That just kills? That that wasn't even at ledge. I was going to say, that shouldn't. <laughs> right, that definitely shouldn't. It's Maybe like, with the back air, I believe it. Yeah. But it still shouldn't. Or it's still strong and Atomic about to run out of our set. And like you said, it's not going too crazy to use it. Do you think that up smash got like buffered? No, no shot. He was looking no. for the immediate jump. 
Now he's just tapping on damage with the guns, but Thorax with the down throw, and that is why you down throw, buddy boy. And he almost killed off a DI mix-up. The only reason he didn't is because he's in town. Yeah, shout outs to town. Yeah. What a good counter pick. Ooh, but off stage again, and Oryx not going off stage with an error or anything. He is just waiting for Atomic to pick something, and he's not been trying to react to that roll either. Ooh. Ooh. I think that might have been buffered forward throw after the after the release. Yeah, maybe. And forward tilt sliding in, not enough! Oh, tries to get really aggressive with it. Am I gonna get a buffer Trump? Oh, that movement by Oryx there is so good too. Atomic, can he close out the game? He's about to get Arsene again. That's unreal. Oh, it'll be so bad for Oryx if he does get all the way to the Arsene. Yeah, he's got a like back air or back air right now, or the explosive flame would be enough, but that just puts him in Arsene. You've only made him angry. He pulled out Desley's secret hidden technique. Give him Arsene and to kill him. The yeah, explosive flame in neutral. Ah, but he did catch the roll. He did catch the back throw. The Oryx classic closer. Nice alliteration. Thank you. Appreciate that. Worked really hard. Worked I really like hard. that the Desley secret technique tells you the whole story because mm -hmm. Desley also no longer plays Pelt. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Joker. Which I miss. Mm -hmm. I miss the Desley Palu. But the Min is still fun to watch. I just miss watching Desley. I do. I, I do. love that game. I, I, I especially think the last time I saw him was like two weeks ago. All the way out in Waco. What? What'd you say? It's uh, game three is what I was saying, and we're back to town and city. Atomic sticking with the Joker the whole way through. <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, just just I was, I was just laughing at the fact that Birdman was looking at both of us like we were absolute morons for both of us not paying attention to the other one. We, we are. Yeah. We are morons. It's just really funny because welcome, welcome it took to zero Ultimate time to get Birdman. us completely pegged. Glad to have you running the stream. Well, yeah. we're not. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> A Birdman and two bird brains. It's, it's awesome <laughs> yeah, it's, here. It's how it should be. 84 percent. He just ran He's under the auto reticle and almost killed him with dash attack. What is this character? Does down smash hit below edge? Maybe with our sound exclusive? Exclusive? That's a, exclusive. <laughs> that's a, that's World a YouTube, premiere. That's a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> this hits below ledge? Exclusive. I can see the Cody pod face in my dreams. Mm -hmm. Not relevant to what you were saying. I just no, that's like just like a there. statement. Yeah. Oh, but it's, he is short hopping. <laughs> Yeah, he sure is. Or trying to keep him in the corner, but man, Atomic just happy mm. to jump on in, and eventually that board's are putting a lot of work on Town and City. Oh, that's a big vulnerable move. That dash attack is not good on shield. No. White punishable, and Atomic right back in Oryx's face. Damage piles on, and again, Right, this is where Oryx's lack of kill power with the Palu is really coming back to bite him, because we've seen second Arsene a lot. Second Arsene is so impactful. First Arsene is difficult to deal with, but especially with the nerfs to the timer, it has become a lot less prevalent. But second Arsene is still just unfair. You're, you're giving him more time to be the best character in the game. What an air. Yep, That's there. great. That landing there into up tilt is something that, first of all, I haven't seen Oryx make a lot of use out of. Correct. But that is also something that, like, I didn't see until post-quarantine. And I was like, wait, that seems obvious in hindsight. Right. That seems like that's something that we should have been doing for a while. <laughs> but yet here we are. Okay. Atomic is going to get a chance at the ledge, but already buffer the guns. Does get a little bit of position out of it. But guns is a ledge trap there. It feels really weird because I don't yeah. know what you get out of it. And I do know what you lose out of it. It's the whole ledge trap. Yep. But, you know, Atomic, make it work, has Arsene here to threaten. Catches the dash back. Oh, the high recovery. I really, really like good. that. Because mm -hmm. I think that Oryx realized the same thing that I did in that moment, which is he kind of looks like Atomic's going to go for a ledge trap. Like he's running up to the ledge He's there. definitely trying to get this back air. Oh. Man, I love the way that Atomic has been using the landing mix-ups into the forward tilts. Mm -hmm. Because not only is it, like, a good timing mix-up, but also, if your opponent thinks, okay, one hit and then I drop my shield, right? 
it's a multi-hit move, but Oryx snatching that stock away. Mm-hmm, catching the jumps. And Dude. what looked like it was surely Atomic's game, suddenly it's one stock away from Oryx getting his rematch against Dampy and Grands and the parry. And Oryx playing like this against Dampy, we might see a different game than we saw in a winners if he makes it all the way there. He's going he, for more reads. He's going for more reads. He's believing in himself. He's making plays. He's playing to win, not playing to not lose. Mm -hmm. That's the Oryx I like to see, a hungry Oryx. Ooh, but Atomic sliding in, trying to make Oryx even hungrier. It'll be hard you know, to pay for your meals with a, a lower placement in the bracket. It's true. And when you had your stomach sliced open, you'll stay hungry. Well, yeah, that'd be messed yeah, up. Well, he did that. With the X. knife, the slap. Yeah. <laughs> Usually think of knives as slappers. Now I will say the this stock will be determined by. I'm pretty sure that Atomic will most likely get a second or send. That'll be huge. I think that this game will be decided on that alone. Yeah, if we see it or if we don't, or how it is applied. I was going to think how it's going to be applied because I almost. That meter's running up so slowly. Oh, it's because he hasn't been getting hit. Yeah, we we built up 87 on answer. We might not even see that arson. We might just see Vanilla Joker. Or to, man, oh, Oryx is just teleporting around. He is flying every which way. Man, Atomic has just spent like a solid minute not getting touched. Mm -hmm. This is impressive. Goes to the down they're not going to get too much off of it. Could have attacked great to find some space, but we are so close now to that arson. Mm -hmm. No, Dang. too low on the recovery. But Tommy was playing hot. No, Didn't I didn't get touched for a solid minute. I feel, I mean, it was one time in a minute and a half that Oryx put any damage on him, and especially that Oryx had him at 96% thereabouts mm. at the start of that stock, and then couldn't seal out the game. Crazy how deep Atomic was able to dig for that one. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't anything like Oryx playing too passive or any, any which way. That was just. Every single turn, Atomic was outmaneuvering him. Mm -hmm. He was all over the place and a good music choice. Where's this one from? This is uh, Sonic and the Black Knight. Mm. This is Knight of the Wind. I see. The one that goes, Whoa! Whoa! I don't know if I know uh, Well, you'll hear, but I'll hear it. It's Crush 40. It's, it's distinct. I do love Crush 40. I'm a big fan of Crush 40. You know, one of the first, uh, I had a, a girlfriend a while back who she only heard me sing Crush 40. Mm -hmm. So she heard a guy on like a TikTok that sounded like Crush Johnny Gioelli. Yeah. And she was like, this guy sounds like you. And I was like, <laughs> no, he doesn't. I think no. it just sounds like me when I'm singing Crush 40. Yeah. <laughs> Which, yes. That's amazing. Yeah. I was like, I mean, I, sure. <laughs> but either way, game four, Battlefield. Oryx is counterpicked for likely the last two games. Yeah, definitely. And this is something that Atomic's just gonna have to deal with is that counterpick advantage. I like that you put the emphasis on the gun as he was just blasting Oryx. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> I like that his, his simple pistol turns into an Uzi when he gets Arsene. Uh. <laughs> Arsene just adds a P90. Oh my god, he almost died to that. Uh. Yeah, ledge trump, but Oryx buffered the neutral getup. Okay, great on Atomic to not just go for the back air anyway. And he did chase the roll, but just a little too slow with the up smash. Well, and I think that he's realized that Oryx has been ready for the ledge trump the last couple of times he's gone for it. So he's like, look, I'm still going to go for it, but fully aware that I might have to react to something else mm -hmm. once I grab the ledge. Right, and you still can. You still have frame advantage. But mm -hmm. You just got to figure out how to use it. Short oh. hopping all over the place and just getting right out of the range of that nair to respond with the back guy. I love that. Okay, great maneuverability by Oryx. Just barely avoids the back air. Gets one of his own. Now it's ledge trap time. We could even up this game. Down throw. You're always DIing that out, but you have an opportunity. Well, and Atomic, you like there? Atomic has burned his double jump there too. What, from Oryx? Yeah. Because you burn the double jump and then you're like, where are you, you going to go? I think I would rather see something like a down tilt to try to cover the ledge in that situation. Sure, yeah. Okay. Or maybe even drop off stage and go for like a back air. Mm -hmm. like, try to get the kills. Ooh, he almost got punished for that. <laughs> yeah. He almost got unfortunate anime protagonist. Well, the question here is, can Atomic 
make good use of this Arsene, or will Oryx be able to snuff it out and make this an even game? Didn't have confidence to go for- That's back there. Yeah, back there, but back there will eventually do it. Hmm. That was Atomic getting a little bit too antsy. Not really able to make any use out of that Arsene. And now we're gonna, gonna see another one pretty soon. Uh-huh. The way that he's already getting his meter filled up. By which you mean he's been hit a lot. He's been getting <laughs> beat up. Wow, biased commentary. Atomic's getting beat up, but they're just talking about how good his Arsene is coming along. <laughs> <laughs> he's really working on this Arsene. Yeah. Oh, so smart by Atomic to take 60 to get to Arsene quicker. That's so Honestly, oh, beautiful. This kid is brilliant. That's why he's going to be on PR next season. <laughs> anyway, Oryx, who? <laughs> not, not like he's been. Oh, down tilt to the ledge. Oh, he was uh, so close to greatness. Legendary status, my man. I'm oh, sorry, you don't, you're not in on that. Either. No, I don't I'll know what that is. To explain it later. Oryx, though. Got a couple things to explain later. You're going to have to remind me to actually do it because every time we've ever said that on commentary, I'm gonna forget. I never explain it later. I'm going to forget for sure. Okay. I'm going to as well. Mm -hmm. All right, shake. We've shaken. All right. Oryx. <laughs> At the ledge, really has not been pressing too hard. Thomas got a slight lead here. I, I actually like that though, because in general, I feel like Palu does a much better job of like playing against Joker when he's in the corner rather than at the ledge. Where like yeah. if Joker's trying to jump in towards center stage or take it away from you, like it's just kind of easier to not play the guessing game and say, well, I got all of these long legged hitboxes that are tough for you to deal with, but Sure hop around enough, mess around and find out. Atomic might put you on your last stock of game four. And so close to an Arsene, knowing that there's gonna be another one backed up on the next stock as well. Ooh, he was so close to that. Great, great idea there with the up smash, but just a little bit late on the release. Yeah, you usually want to let go of that up smash early because you have that late hitbox at the bottom of it, and with no rage near and up tilt's not gonna do it. And here comes second Arsene. And the thing about it is like. The punish for that is like get up attack. Yeah. Right? You can definitely afford to toss one. That's why you throw it out earlier. Mm -hmm. Catch the spot exactly. dodge though. One more time, Oryx versus Atomic to tournament stock. Mm -hmm. Did a great job of just expelling that Arsene quick enough that it was not a factor. <laughs> Exercised Arsene. Absolutely. Be gone, Demon. But Atomic the one putting on this early damage and just you know, the fact that it took three auto reticles to get even one of those to hit is impressive. It is impressive. Oh. Nice stall off stage and the uh, that scared me. Yeah, bear. They were making it back. Very close to Arsene though. Or it's gotta be careful. I mean honestly, Atomic could get Arsene without getting hit, and yeah. will. I mean that that got real close to the end of the meter, but now Oryx. Only one hit before Atomic fires back in kind! Down there again, great DI from Atomic. Nobody is getting caught with DI in there. And I, I know that he's like, he's not worried about Oryx going off stage to hit him at that point because you're not going to be able to get a kill or anything. And then you open up Arsene Joker to no turn things way. around on you, and that's just barely not enough. And the Arsene is gone. That'll add a lot of survivability to Oryx, but can he hold on? Atomic Ooh. is only at 65. He's got to hold on for a while. And honestly, Atomic has started to realize there's been a lot of neutral getup dashing shield from Oryx off the ledge. Mm. And he has punished that accordingly a couple of times this game. And we've seen getup attack, oh. and we see the yoink, but not quite going to do it. Wow, that's a scary angle, because you have to remember to not keep holding down on that mm. recovery if you're Oryx. Again, on the last stock, having trouble hitting Atomic at the timer, down to 40 seconds, by the way, and we won't see it go to, well, uh, hold on. Hold on, I might, honestly, be, I might be lying, I might honestly, be scamming. Honestly, out. Down throw? Well, I, I was thinking down throw. You think Atomic wants the timeout? Because I think that'd be cool. It would be cool, but you're also, yeah, no, I, I feel like he can play to the timeout pretty safely. Like, there are ways that Oryx can turn that around, but it's also a cool way to win. Oh! oh okay, or lose. okay, or maybe you should hit him. Maybe Atomic, okay. Maybe, oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's not gonna, okay, good. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I think Oryx started down smashing because he realized he didn't have time to play careful neutral the way that Atomic was. Yeah. 
I have a, I have a friend who has uh, the three mm -hmm. uh, on their on their soundboard, and they'll just play it occasionally. Three. So if he's sitting in Discord call, you know, you'd be scrolling Twitter or whatever. It's your three. <laughs> Do they have two oh, and one as well? No, they just click three. <laughs> they just have three. Three! Yeah. Oh, yeah, both of these players are victims of, of the of Dan B. B run. Dan the man B. Dan it be the man, comma, B. B. Is Ori's got an iced out right now? In game five? No, I'm getting iced out. I'm getting iced out. Beastly sitting down, challenger approaching. Ah. Might make the tournament go faster. <laughs> oh, oh, Atomic needed some needed water. Some hydration. Man, going to time. Boy, sure is exhausting, isn't it? Hydrate or dihydrate. Oh, the mid-set fist bump? The oh, mid you were looking directly at me. Yeah. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I looked over and I was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Game I five! did catch in the corner of my eye, though, that mid-set fist bump. They call that the Midwest fist bump. Chase wants a timeout to occur. Well, I don't anymore. No, I don't. I'd, I'd like this game to be quick. I, I, thought I want it was, Whataburger! I thought it was cool when there was, like, 10 seconds left and realized they were both, like, still playing the game actively. Look, like, uh, when it gets to the point that a timeout is imminent, that is that's hype. That's cool, yeah. But we did need to take six and a half minutes to get there. Yeah. Well, we did. I mean, we did. Last game was fine. <laughs> Last game was very reasonable. We're on Pokemon Stadium 2, which does lend itself to that a little bit more. Somebody's getting loud out there. Who's yelling? Somebody. Is Chase yelling about timing people. Chase, I'll kill you. Chase, I will literally kill you. I'm about to walk over. I can't see that. <laughs> We're on Twitch. Nobody can prove that I said <laughs> <laughs> it's not documented anywhere. <laughs> can't upload the VODs anymore. <laughs> oh, Oryx! Not close enough. Atomic takes the lead! Oh, my goodness. Atomic taking the lead, sitting at a very healthy 92. Sorry, I'm just imagining watching back the YouTube VOD and there's just like a generic bleep. <laughs> Chase. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> and then there's no recorded evidence. And then there's no recorded evidence. That's how they do it on TV. My goodness. Atomic really is just holding this lead very, very well. This is uh, kind of back to what we saw in the Dambi set mm -hmm. against the Oryx Pally, is that over time, Atomic is just taking him a little bit longer to make those adaptations, but it's kind of caught on to the way that the Pally is playing, but Oryx... Uh, like you said, he will uh, He'll stick back to you like glue. Mm -hmm. Those are two different statements, but he will he will stick to you like glue, and he will backer you eventually. Yeah. You know, it's death, taxes, and Oryx will eventually backer. And also, he sticks to you like glue. And also, the third thing that George Washington. And also, said, the third thing that George Washington. Don't said. don't ask about it. Uh, he's dead anyways. Well, who cares about what any of the founding fathers <laughs> ever said? It's fair. Oh Atomic though, man, he's trying to get. Into, has he been to grand finals before? I feel like he has. Uh, I feel like he has. He's definitely good enough to have done it. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's won a shockwave yet. He has not won a shockwave yet. That much I'm certain. But still, I, getting the opportunity to do so. I believe he's the last person in bracket who has it. Because I think Oryx has, and I know Oryx. Yeah. Oryx and Dampy most certainly have. Yeah. And Dampy has won multiple times on stream. Mm -hmm. Finally. As he well. He, he did correct me mm -hmm. uh, either a week ago or a couple of weeks ago. He wanted to make sure that I set the record straight there. I see. Yes, well, he does win all of the off-stream shots. He has won He has won them. on stream before. And then he proceeded to win on stream that week. That's amazing. So I was like, hey. Double Chad whammy. Move. Chad move, right? Yeah. Like, I can and will. I just will also win every offline one, too. Yes. Because he plays for himself and not for the people. That, that makes means. it sound like a bad thing. No, he, not. he's not playing for the enjoyment of others. He's playing for the enjoyment of him. Uh, I, I think that's perfectly commendable. Yeah. Feed the world beats or whatever Eminem said. I know what he said, but I don't know. It's gassed up. Yeah. Well, yeah. Atomic trying to be what he set out to be without a doubt, undoubtedly. 
Uh, I don't remember the rest of the words to that song because Eminem sucks, but... 88%! Atomic getting close to closing this one out! He's got a full stock lead and then some! And so close to Arsene, that back air almost sets him there, but also so close to dropping the stock and would have to work that much harder. But Arsene comes just through time alone. And then just threatening Arsene to any of those getup options. Low shield for Oryx too, so he has to run away from the Joker and that will give Atomic the room to play around. It's just back here, City That's right now, but Backdoor's gonna do it. If I had a nickel for every time Atomic dash attacked with Arsene into Oryx at the corner at Shield, I'd have at least two nickels, but maybe even more. <laughs> I could probably get a four for four. Honestly. Nickels. Four for four nickels. <laughs> what can I get for four nickels at Wendy's? <laughs> four nickels. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> 42 though, this is like a backer in the corner, but it does Atomic want it too much. Oh, extra damage is being applied. Atomic, no, he's just spacing. Yep, get out of here. 24% is all out. he's taken. Time and I'm out. ill advised. <laughs> ill advised. But imagine. Ugh. You know, after that run in, run and grab, maybe shit time. <laughs> Atomic. I would rather see him time. Ah! Rather see it, it, instead of going for a grab again, I would like to see. 205 percent. We're at 135 on the timer. Not the timer. Yeah, Oryx's percent is higher than the timer. Oh, he almost died to that. And he will die to the next one if he gets the full hit. Hey, you remember when Oryx died to Link Arrow <laughs> at 300 percent? I, I do. That What's was... it gonna be? He's gonna go. Oh, okay, it's the back it's air the to do it. Atomic's going to grand finals. And what a shock to see that back air kill at 215%. Yeah, that's just that's not a kill move. It just happen. doesn't happen that often. Man, he, he gave he gave a finger gun to Danby and just got iced. Oh. That's so sad. I'm pretty sure that regular non-Arsen Joker back air would have killed there. <laughs>